Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to take a look at our Swagman Chinook 2 bike platform rack here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4. So this bike rack is ideal if you have an inch and a quarter hitch or a two inch hitch receiver and you're looking for something that has a little bit more weight capacity than other bike racks at its same affordable price. Okay, so first we'll take a look at one of its features, which is that this can tilt away. To do so, you just pull on this lever back here and then just drop this down to a tilt. So you'll want to do this if you want to open your hatch on your RAV4. As you can see, our door has plenty of space between our or away from our pedals, allowing us to get into our trunk, maybe grab our helmets, our bags, our waters, without having to take our bikes off. To bring it back into position, you just lift up and this snaps into place. So this has a 45 pound weight capacity. An upgrade from let's say the Swagman XC2 with about 35 pound weight capacity. So if you have your slightly heavier bikes, this is gonna be good with that. Um, the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack is we have three points, so one, two wheel straps holding this down in place and up here we have our frame hook now that frame hook's main purpose is really just to keep your bike upright since what's really holding that bike down are going to be the wheel straps we also have a lock course on our frame hooks so if you lock that into place then this will not move up and down when it is unlocked this ratchets down to secure your bike's frame so when you want to take your bike off, you start by the wheel straps. You just press this lever and then pull up on that strap. And I do like how that swings away so it's not tangled up in the spokes. Now over here, coming over to the front, support your bike as you do so. You can lift up on that frame hook. If In our case, we're just going to lift this out just far enough to get it past our bike rack but not too far where it gets caught up against our vehicle. And then we're ready to go on a bike ride. I do like how this fits on the RAV4 since you do have plenty of space between the bike rack and your car. For other people, what they actually like to do is they like to just take these hooks off completely and they would lower the mast. Notice how you have to put that lever all the way in in order to lower that mast and then bring these arms in so that it's nice and neat. So that's another option if you wanna make it easier to take your bike off. Now, here on our RAV4, it does add a little bit of length to the back of our car. So we're gonna take some measurements just to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper to the furthest point of the bike rack, which is gonna be by these cradles, it sits at about 20 four and a quarter inches of length added to the back of your car. So whenever you're backing into your garage or you're trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that measurement as well as the added length of your bicycles. Now we'll take a measurement for ground clearance. Measuring down here, it's 18 and a quarter inches from the end of the mast. So underneath your cradles, you're gonna sit 21 inches from the ground and right underneath that shank, it sits at 11 and 3 quarter inches. Now ground clearance is something you may have to think about when you're going up steep inclines like driveways or hills. This has pretty decent ground clearance, especially on a RAV4, so you're probably not gonna be too worried about that, but it's still nice to know that measurement. Now before we fold this up, I wanna talk about these cradles. So this utilizes a steel cradle and if you um, loosen these knobs, they can move back and forth. The maximum wheelbase this can accommodate is 50 inches. Notice how it has these wheel straps. So these go around your bike's wheel and they have a nice little cushion on top to protect your wheel, as well as to give it a little extra stability or sturdiness. The maximum wheel width this can carry is three inches wide or three inch wide wheels. If you do have fat tire bikes, no worries though, because you can also pick up the fat tire bike adapters that work with these. Now this does not fit with your carbon fiber frame bikes because of that hook design, 
but it fits with most of your alternate frame bikes. You may have to pick up a frame adapter bar though if you have an extremely low like step through frame. Okay, let's take a look at another of its features which is that you fold this up. To do so, there's a lever right over here. You just pull that lever and then fold it up just like that. It's nice to see that on our RAV4, we're not too concerned about clearance between our bike and our bike rack and our car since we have about four and a quarter inches of clearance between our bumper. Now as for how, or the length added to the back of the car with it folded up, it is now 16 and a quarter inches. Nice and compact for when you need to park into tight spots. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So we have a three quarter, if you wanna tighten it down, you can use a wrench included or do what I do, which is use a three quarter inch socket wrench to tighten this down. It also has a lock on the end. This is key to like to the locks on your hooks. But with this tightened down with that anti-rattle bolt, notice how it takes away most of that side to side action on the road. You will get a little bit of up and down movement, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, but if you are concerned about that, we have hitch stabilizing options. I still think this is great on an inch and a quarter hitch receiver because it works with class one, class two hitches, but it also works with your two inch hitches if you have that on your RAV4. With all that being said, notice how with it folded up like this, please make sure to put your straps away so that they don't drag on the ground as you drive around with it in this position. It also sits really or relatively low to the ground. So you may be interested in those ground clearance measurements I talked about earlier. It is nice to see it does not cover your license plate or your backup camera at all. Your taillights and your windows are completely visible as well, meaning you're safe and legal on the road. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. So my final thoughts about this bike rack is again, I do recommend this for people with smaller hitch receivers that look for that greater weight capacity. It's nice, it's sturdy, and it's very affordable. If you're looking for something with a similar weight capacity, but nicer features, you might be interested in the Kuat transfer with its unique goal post design. But if you're perfectly fine with a bike rack that carries your bikes around from one place to another and it's heavy duty, and it's not too pricey, this might be a good option for you. So that was a look at the Swagman Schnook two bike platform rack here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4.